and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today is Isaac's birthday and we have already had a breakfast in which he asked for apple dumplings and I obliged and we made apple dumplings and we had bacon and we had eggs and we had gravy, we had biscuits and it was delicious. Um, so I'm going to make his birthday cake. We're not, I'm not going to cook supper. I give my, this is our birthday traditions. I let the kids either decide do they want to eat out at a special restaurant or do they want me to cook their favorite meal. So Isaac decided he wanted to eat out tonight. He wants to go to a Japanese steakhouse. So that's what we're doing but I always do make a cake. Usually Isaac gets a Italian cream cake on his birthday because that's what he asked for. But we had that at Thanksgiving and so I am going to make a chocolate cake today and it's probably for the rest of us more than it's for Isaac. But there is a story behind this um, cake. This cake is otherwise known in our family as the $500 cake. Well, let me just tell you, I'm waiting on the boys to get back with some sugar. I didn't have enough sugar. So, um, I'm going to tell you the story on why it's called the $500 cake while I'm waiting for the boys to get back with the sugar. Early in mine and Bryant's uh, marriage, we attended his home church. They And they had an annual barbecue and auction sale. And the way their auction sale worked is, is their members would go to nice furniture places, nice um, retailers, and ask for donations, the places would give them donations, and that's what would be auctioned off, as well as cakes. And you know, every church has that one lady who does delicious cakes. So, um, they were auctioning off cakes. Okay, now let's go back to the barbecue. They have barbecue set up, you go through, you get your um, barbecue plate, then they have a dessert table where they have pre-sliced um, desserts and they're wrapped in um, saran wrap and they're put on paper plates. And you just pick up your dessert as you get your barbecue plate and you go sit down and eat. And then you listen to either the music that's playing or you're going waiting for the auction to start. Well, the auction started and um, this cake comes up. And so... Um, they're bidding and it's going back and forth and we're watching it go back and forth. We're not bidding on it. Somebody else is bidding on it. And this cake goes for $500. I was like, good gracious, somebody likes that cake. And um, ended up being the woman who made it. Her husband is actually the one who, <laughs> who bought it back. So he really likes his wife's cake. So anyway, um, we're, we've gotten our... Um, barbecue plates. We're sitting down. We're just visiting with everybody. Caroline was the cutest little thing. She was about four years old, a little bob haircut, these big brown eyes. She said, Mom, I didn't get dessert. And I said, well, honey, go over to the dessert table and you get you some dessert and come right back. So a few minutes later, she comes back and on one of the little dessert plates she has, she's got this cake. And I reach over and I take a bite of her cake. And I said, oh my God goodness that cake is delicious I said I gotta go get me one of those a piece of that cake so I go over to the dessert table and I look and I look and I look and I look and I don't see that cake anywhere and I don't know where she got that slice of cake so I come back and I said Caroline where'd you find that um piece of cake at because I can't find it and she says mama I went over to that lady that has that man and that lady that has that cake and I asked them to cut me a piece of it she asked them to cut the $500 cake, and they did. And I was mortified. So I go over there to them, and I said, I am so sorry that she asked you to cut that cake. I am so sorry. I said, but let me tell you, that was the best cake I've ever put in my mouth. I said, that is the best cake. It was so good. And it's chocolate, chocolate cake. And um, so... Anyway, before we left that evening, they had cut me half of that cake and had it wrapped up and sent me home with half of that cake. The next Sunday, they come in and they brought me a whole cake. 
and um, then she eventually gave me the recipe and I have made it ever since and I I can't make it like she can if I could get her to make that cake for me every <laughs> every year I would but um, we live an hour and so away but um, and actually when we moved back to Asheboro we lost I lost somehow lost the recipe and it has broke my heart and so Bryant got on the phone and called this lady up and she gave me the recipe again and so I have it and um, I need to mark it because I was still looking for my old recipe yesterday and I forgot I had lost it and then it dawned on me I've lost it and I thought I had lost my second copy I said I am not calling her back and asking for this recipe again but y'all this is the $500 cake let me show you what I got for Christmas. I'm just going to show you a couple things I got um, that have to do with kitchen. Um, my husband got this really flashy, <laughs> literally flashy Christmas suit for him to wear to the fun Christmas party. And they brought me, when they brought him the suit, the family brought me this pot holder set with chickens on it. This is not the cutest thing ever. And it comes with a towel, a dish towel, and um, the mitten um, thing. And then our worship team, let me tell you, they are so sweet. I love them so much. Um, I was not expecting anything from the worship team, but they gave me a gift. And this is the first thing I have with the farm and pastor's wife on it. I don't know if you can see it. it says the farm and pastor's wife. They gave me this dish towel. Hang on. This apron. The farming pastor's wife. Is that not awesome? I think I'll wear it today while I make my um, cake. And, um, they also gave me a cookbook. They gave me um, a gift certificate to Pampered Chef. Oh my goodness. Well. And um, so I, I'm just in love. And this, and on Isaac, on Isaac's, Bryant's list, I have to make him a Christmas wish list for me every year. And on it, I said, I want something with the Farm and Pastor's Wife logo on it. Or not logo. I don't really have a logo. I do now. <laughs> I have this beautiful chicken. And, um, but I wanted it something to say the Farm and Pastor's Wife. So, um, I have something that has the Farm and Pastor's Wife on it. And it's from the worship team. <laughs> they were so precious. I am so thankful, y'all. I work with the best group of musicians and singers. Um, and I'm not, I mean, they sing great and they play great, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about their heart. Their heart for the Lord, their heart for worship, their heart for our church. Um, it just goes beyond what I can express. And then that they gave this to me, which I don't deserve it, but... Um, I was very thankful, and um, actually a lady in our church also did the embroidering and uh, got the apron together, so um, I am blessed, y'all. I am so blessed. Well, I'm going to wait for the sugar to come. I've given you the backstory on why it's called the $500 cake. I've showed you a few of my Christmas gifts, so now we're just going to wait for the sugar, and then we'll get started making this cake. Okay, y'all. I finally got some sugar, so let's get this cake started. I'm going to... Let's see. Give me just a minute. Okay, so what I have in here now is a half a cup of Crisco. And 
And we're going to add two sticks of butter to the Crisco. And then to the Crisco and butter, I'm going to add three cups of sugar. Turn that up just a little bit. And then we'll slowly add the sugar. I'm going to get it all incorporated really good. little measuring cup here. everything. Find something to scrape with. And in this one, I not only have to scrape the sides, but I, I go down and make sure the bottom is clear as well. Okay, so, now let me get the milk. And let me rinse my thing out. I just threw it in the sink. The thing I cracked my eggs in, I'm just gonna rinse it out. I forgot I was gonna use that for the milk. Okay. All right, and I've got my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna measure out. Cup of milk. All right, and what I have over here that I'm bringing over I have in this bowl I have three cups of flour all-purpose flour that's been sifted with a half a cup of cocoa and a teaspoon of baking powder and I'm just gonna start here I actually need let's use this
in with a little bit of milk. Gracious, I got it everywhere. Did I ever make a mess? Okay, so now I'm going to add... Let me tell you what. Let's do a scrape. Let's scrape the sides again. vanilla <laughs> and I'm gonna add just a half of a capful of almond extract let me just say almond extract goes a very long way wish list but um, <laughs> they're gonna be on there okay I'm gonna knock off some of this flour turn it on one more time Be sure your hands are always clean. And I'm going to resist the temptation to lick my fingers. Actually, I'm still going to lick them. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. Mm, oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay. <clears throat> 
right. Ooh, I have a mess to clean up, let me tell you. All right, and I'm just going to take a measuring cup and evenly distribute. Let's see if I can get you guys focused over here. Y'all, my this tripod thing is about to drive me crazy. Let's bring you over here. There we go. And I'm gonna lay my cake pans over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this measuring cup and try to evenly one. We'll have to just scrape and eyeball to keep it even. I'm coming back. I'm just scraping it out of this cup. Measuring here. Measuring cup. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this cake is so good. Trying to get it all down here together so I can eyeball how to keep it even. Alright, let's go with this scoop here. This scoop here. Last scoop in the back one. All right. Okay. I'm just evening them out. And we're going to get them in the oven. And I'm on, they usually stay in about 20 minutes, but I'm going to check them at 15. Because I don't want them to be overdone. Mmm, y'all. So good. All right. So let's get them in. I think they all can probably go on the top shelf. Okay, 15 minutes and we'll check them. All right, I'll bring you back when they come out. Okay guys, well the cakes are out of the oven and I have actually cut the tops off. My cabinets are open. <laughs> They're always open, y'all. <laughs> okay. So um, the cakes are out of the oven and they rose up past the pan and so I cut those off and leveled them out. And here are our cakes. And they turned out really good and moist. I'm excited. Here's some of the crumbs I cut off. So now we're gonna start on the icing, which is the best part, mm, the best part. So let's get started. And I'm gonna try to get you down here. And I'm probably gonna splatter powdered sugar everywhere. It takes two pounds, two pounds of powdered sugar. y'all the icing has got coffee in it 
Oh my goodness, it's the best. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Y'all, and I, I asked for Christmas, I asked Bryant to get me some cake decorating stuff. Although, I have never decorated anything. I am not, I don't even know how to use anything. Okay, I just want to be sure it wasn't going to go everywhere. Um, I may have to go back and get some more cocoa. I don't know that I have quite enough, but we'll see. You need a cup of cocoa. decorating stuff and um so I'm gonna ice the cake and save a little bit of the icing and maybe try to do something decorative on it oh yeah I'm gonna have just the perfect amount of cocoa it probably needs to be sifted though that's okay all right I have made such a mess cooking today. I haven't done anything neat. Okay. I'm going to mix that together real quick. I mean, why in the world I've made such a mess today? I'm not usually, I mean, I always make a little bit of a mess, but not quite like I have today. It started this morning. I boiled over the juice for my apple dumplings. Oh, gracious. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put our butter in. It calls for a stick and a fourth. Well, I mean, oh, man, you know what? I don't have out enough butter. It's a cup and a half. I mean, a cup and a fourth of butter. And I was thinking stick. So two sticks is a cup. So I'm gonna have to get out. I'm gonna have to melt or zap in the microwave another stick of butter. Well, not a whole stick, but did y'all see that mess I just made? Let me get some more butter out and I'll bring you right back. Oh, I just poured the extra butter in. I melted it down a little bit. I'm going to stop it for just a minute, scrape the sides. And it's got a lot of coming together to do. It is by no means ready. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, it looks so crumbly. Yes, it is very crumbly. But it's okay, it's gonna come together. It's a lot of powdered sugar in there. All right. Let me get these crumbs back in there. All right. Let's go ahead and add some coffee in here. Let me go turn it back on low. And I'm just pouring. This coffee was perked this morning. and give the sides one more scrape and we may add some more coffee.
Y'all, today while I've been um, cooking and yesterday while I was cleaning, you know, I kind of have that backwards. I guess I should cook the day before I clean. Um, I had bought an Amish Christmas book on Audible. And I have been listening to it today. And I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. Another just ever so drop of almond extract. I mean, y'all, almond goes a long, long way. And I don't need a lot of it. And I'm just gonna turn this up and let it let it go. This right here is some good stuff. I'm gonna use my fingers. Yeah, I'll look at that. Mm. That, my friends, is so good. Now, I'm going to bring y'all over here to where the cake is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take just a little bit and smear it in the middle. And let's see, I think I want this to be my bottom cake. I'm actually going to turn this upside down here. Beautiful! Okay, so I'm just going to take some of this wonderful icing and just smear it good. And I get it good and thick on the sides. That way it helps me to um, ice the sides when it's time. All right, so let's get the next cake. Y'all, I, I didn't cook this cake quite as long as I normally would. Um, well, let me just take that back. I did cook it as long as I normally would, but I didn't let it get quite as done. I don't know how that worked out, but <laughs> anyway, it did. But I wanted it to be moist because sometimes this cake has come out dry on me before. Oh, 
look, I got, I grabbed some, <laughs> I hit the side and got some powdered sugar. That's okay. That's good stuff. The book I'm listening to on Audible, it's a Christmas book, but it's so good. Take a sliding over just a little bit. Let's slide it back. Okay. All right. Next layer. Y'all, and this, we are not going skimpy on this icing. Y'all see that? Now, this cake, this piece had a little chunk missing. But, and, my, and Bryant was like really kind of nervous about it. And I said, it's okay. We'll fill that hole up with icing. You know, my cake is leaning just a little bit. But I think that's because, let's see if I can cut that off. I didn't get this side cut off quite as good as I did the other side. So if I take that off, it may kind of lean back this way a little bit. More mess. More mess. It's okay. Oh, me. I wish now I hadn't cleaned yesterday. A big old dollop. And I'll save some to try my new um let's see to try my new cake decorating setup. Although, I can try it all I want to, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. You know, it's getting some chocolate crumbs in it, but that's okay. That's... y'all I'm mixing up a little bit of powdered sugar up it <laughs> y'all see it it's okay we'll mix it in <laughs> we'll mix it in It's so moist, my cake is tearing. <laughs> it's the leaning tower of Pisa. I'm gonna have to get some new cake pans, y'all. I hate it because I like my cake pans. I'm 
but they they baked up so uneven and then I oh goodness y'all and this icing is on here thick and I'm gonna take a paper towel and come around here and clean this up leaning cake is quite humorous and I'm afraid if I push it it's just gonna make an indention in the cake ah. well y'all let me just tell you it may not be pretty but it's gonna taste delicious Or lean in cake. All right. Let me get a napkin and clean up a little bit around that bottom. And then we'll try my cake decorating set. Another one. <laughs> My leaning cake. I don't know if y'all can tell how bad it's leaning or not, but it's really leaning. But it's okay. All right. Hey guys, well I accidentally um, deleted the video of me icing the cake. And it wasn't much to see because I didn't know what I was doing. But I will show you the final product. Um, the cake is leaning a little bit. <laughs> and my decorations are. Mm. But I was just playing and learning. So hang on, I'll show it to you. There's the cake. Man, a light came on. I didn't know I turned the flash on. But, as you can see, it's leaning a little bit. That's okay. It's going to be delicious. But, there it is. Good old chocolate $500 cake. <laughs>